Hi, this is Landon Cox, and I'm with the Sawdust website, and this is the second in a series of uh, Eagle CAD schematic um, tutorials for uh, new users. And uh, these tutorials are designed to help uh, new users over certain humps uh, with the user interface at Eagle, which is not always easy to understand or use. This uh, tutorial is about selection and movement techniques. Um, one of the first things you want to be able to do after you start plunking parts down on your schematic is you want to move them around and group them and things like that. And that's not always uh, easy to do right out of the gate. So I uh, wanted to show you a few of those uh, options. I'm going to start with just adding a um, FTDI style uh, UART. Um, it's a small part you can see. I'm going to zoom in on it. Some parts like this are actually uh, fairly uh, quick to be able to identify what you need to um, select in order to get a handle on them. But the first thing you'll notice is if you want to try to move this part, you select the move operation, but nothing inside this part will let you get a handle on it except for this crosshair right here. So you must select that crosshair. And sometimes it's difficult to identify that crosshair. It depends on how the component designer uh, created the uh, package for or f the symbol. I'm sorry for for this particular part. And uh, if they created it where the center of the part wasn't where this crosshair is, sometimes it can be hard to hard to find. So whenever you want to move or rotate or uh, select this part in any way, uh, you have to look for the crosshair, and that goes for every part in Eagle. So if I wanted to rotate it, I would have to select it here. But if I selected it over somewhere else in the part, it's not going to work. I have to select it in the crosshair. Uh, same way with copying, moving, all that other type of uh, operation. So I'm going to delete this part. I'm going to show you some other um, more difficult um, type of objects to, to deal with. Um, one of the first things you'll want to do, too, when you create a new schematic is you want to put a nice frame around it. So you go uh, select something like a frame letter and I'm going to scroll or scale out this. So we've got this uh, nice letter box and I'm going to put my schematic inside this but um, the problem is that the schematic isn't uh, centered or even anchored to the right place within Eagle. So you see this big cross here down here, that's essentially the origin of the um, schematic. And yet my frame box is way up here. So I need to figure out a way to move this down to this point right here. Now the problem is that there's no uh, cross here in the middle of this part, you don't see it. It's very, very difficult to figure out where it is. So sometimes you have to really look closely and um, zoom up and zoom out. Um, I happen to know that it, it is down in this corner. So I'm just going to scroll in and show you that there's this crosshair right there. I'm going to back out. Now that I know where it is, I can more easily select that letter box. So I'm going to go select that and move it down here. But, oops you notice that some of this letter box didn't come with it. So I'm going to select it and move it down here as well. So that's a two-part operation, which isn't very convenient. Plus, I probably misplaced that um, second letter box. In fact, I did. So I'm going to move it up. Now, that's, the, that's more or less the hard way to put the letter box on. Um, I'm going to delete it and show you a, an easier way to get this done. So it starts the same way. Um, I'm going to add the letterbox component just as it comes out of the um, box. And I can go ahead and at the very beginning drop it right here. But let's say I didn't right at, the, right at the beginning drop it there. Say I dropped it off. What I can do is group this entire thing using this group command right here. Define a group. And you notice that everything turned bright red. Now the problem is that uh, move will still work on individual components. So if I move this letter box, you see that even though I grouped the two together, move still operates on the on um, the individual letter box. What I want to be able to do is move that entire thing. So I'm going to group that again. I'm going to group this. And once it's grouped, uh, move is selected. I'm going to right click on this object and it gives me I can see right now it gives me a uh, menu that may 
not show on this video. It looks like it's going to show now. Move group. So uh, if you right click on the object, you'll get a drop down menu. Um, and now I can move the entire thing. So I'm going to go ahead and just drop it on the origin. Now this type of thing works um, the same with uh, any kind of component uh, symbol in your schematic. I just happened to show you a few things um, all at once. One is how to put a letterbox on your um, on your schematic as well as how to group uh, components and uh, move them around and select them. So I hope this was uh, helpful in getting you past some of the uh, initial hurdles with, uh, with Eagle. Uh, thanks a lot and come uh, visit Sawdust uh, anytime.